is Empress Virgo of Empress Virgo's Row. Back again with another reading. This time it is a timeless love reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there. And I appreciate all the love and the support that you guys give to me and to the channel. It is much appreciated. So let's get into the reading. Okay. All right. Divine Holy Spirit, what romantic love messages do you have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements romantic love messages for capricorn summer rising and venus placements divine holy spirit also guys always keep in mind with any tarot reading take only the messages that resonate with you in your particular situation if it doesn't apply to you in your particular situation let it fly but if it does and you like what you hear consider liking the video sharing the video subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already and hitting that notification bell we would love to have you as a member of our soul tribe okay all right all right all right all right we have the sun the eight of wands the ace of swords the devil that's natural Cap natural capricorn energy the magician the lovers the world the queen of wands the four of cups child y'all going through it right now capricorn placements whatever capricorn i'm talking to a capricorn placement i'm talking to for a lot of y'all y'all travel a lot for work knight of wands i don't know why i'm seeing it like that because normally i see the knight of swords like that but the knight of wands i'm seeing it like you travel a lot for work <clears throat> you're always on the go you're always on the move and you have found it hard to find a stable relationship. Um, like you're happy in your life. You're happy in your career for what you do for work. It brings you great joy, obviously, with the sun there. The eight of wands, I see that you're always mingling with people. You're always having joy in your life, uh, communicating with people. But it's always been something that in the back of your mind, you've always wanted that particular one, you know, to spend your life with. At, at times for you Capricorn placements with the Ace of Swords, you always felt like it was a possibility. You might have had some particular people to come in and out of your life, but you saw it for what it was. It was just nice at the time, but it was always something to miss with that particular person or people that you dealt with at any particular given time. I feel like you always, as we all do, we have a double side to us. We have the the light side and we have the shadow side there's nothing wrong with the shadow side but i feel like a lot of people don't really um like the fact that you it's not even i don't even want to say shadow but this is a part of it like you probably get down on yourself when things don't go your way you probably get a little mildly depressed and everyone can't handle that energy and they're like, oh, my God, I can't deal with this Capricorn. Oh, my God, they're always moody. They're always this and that. It's not that you're moody. It's that you are very empathic and you take things sometimes the wrong way. I'm not going to lie. Um, but I feel like that's only because you expect the best out of yourself and out of others around you, especially with business, baby. I don't know who I'm picking up on. But this is a businessman or a businesswoman, an entrepreneur. Whatever you do, you travel for work. And you're always um, wanting to make sure you, the business is right, which is cool. Um, but I feel like you're always concerned about work. It leaves little time for a stable relationship or you're always traveling. And that's one of the things that um, is kind of a, a Achilles heel for you right now, Capricorn placements. But I feel like whoever I'm talking to, you're a really great manifester with the magician here. And you know how to get what you want, but it seems like this thing, love, a stable relationship is very, uh, it's eluding you right now. But it, it's something that you're, ha a certain cycle that you're going through right now, Capricorn placements. With the lovers here, it's like you might have a particular person that you're dealing with right now. Or you're choosing to be alone or you're choosing to have a, like a friends with benefits type of energy. Not judging, just saying what I feel right here. But it's like. Some of y'all are reflecting back on this particular relationship while you're in it or as you have gone through it and you realize that that's that type of relationship. It was okay for what it was, but it, that's not truly what you wanted. That wasn't a choice you really wanted to stick with, whatever choice you made 
to deal with a person in a t particular way. Take it how it resonates for you. With the world card, I feel like y'all are opening up and realizing, hey, even though you travel, for some of y'all, y'all thought it was impossible to keep a stable relationship. You just got to find the right one for you, okay, with the world card here. Um, I feel like whoever this queen of wands is, king or queen of wands, take it how it resonates for you. This person, um, they may be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, or have those placements significantly in their chart, but I feel like it's talking more about their energy, of how they might be, uh, for some of y'all, this person might be very shy uh, when you meet them, but as you get to know them, they are literally the king or the queen of wands. They're very charismatic. They love to tell jokes. They're very quirky, may have a quirky personality, but with this king or queen of wands, they're really helpful person and they're they're really someone that you can build something with and they're they literally will go to the ends of the earth with you i just heard that for some reason um for some of y'all with this four of cups it's like you not sure about this particular person from the past you might not even be sure about this particular person um that's coming uh towards you or that you're meeting for the very first time but i feel like spirit is telling you to actually take your time or else you might miss out on something that's very good for you with this four of cups here uh, you might be disappointed or you you're this person is coming along for you capricorn placements when you giving up or, or just focus on a little let's see here though let me clarify this four of cups y'all know how i do <laughs> you can't make this stuff up <laughs> that's the world card again so like I said, y'all might be traveling when you meet this person. You might travel for work. Or this might be a, a new cycle in your life. Y'all see that big moon right there. Um, you Like I said, you might have literally manifested this person into your life and you don't realize it. With the Seven of Pentacles, this has been a long time coming. Um, yeah, this is coming quickly. Um, yeah, you might, yeah, you're not going to even really... For some of y'all, see this person as a, a, a type of person that you want to deal with. Uh, because, like I said, they might be very quiet, quiet, shy, and reserved. You might think of them as being cold, but they're not. Um, they might be nervous around you. Um, but let things flow and t uh, go with the flow and see where it takes you, Capricorn placement. I don't know why that keeps coming up. I keep feeling it. But, yeah. For some of y'all, y'all be like, ooh, you just can't see it for yourself because of the way you work or what you do for a living or how much you travel. And Spirit is saying that's when you're going to meet this person. Either they're going to, you're going to meet them somewhere you're traveling or they're going to be in your town or city when you're at home for some of y'all. I'm just saying. Um, never know how that goes. Take it how it resonates, okay? As always. All right, let's see here. All right, Spirit, what additional message do you have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements? All right, so we got one here. Do you know what to do? I say that's so backwards. I say Sorry, y'all. You know what to do. So some of y'all got to make a choice to let go of someone or to give someone a chance. You know what to do. And you know who to do it for. I'll put it to you that way. In all battles of the heart over the mind, go with your heart. Because truly, it's a lot easier for your mind to catch up with your heart than for your heart to catch up with your mind a whole lot. Not that I don't love your mind, the universe. For some of y'all, like I said, you have a choice. For some of y'all, you got a choice between two people. One from your past or someone that you're currently dealing with and someone that's coming in the near future or that you've met. It's really up to you to decide who you want to be with. Ooh, child. Okay. So that's all I have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus placements i hope you guys enjoyed your time of love reading if you did give the video a thumbs up share subscribe join our tribe hit the notification bell and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys